welcome back to another video and look what I found sitting at the back of the shelf. I almost forgot I had, I had this. Uh, the House of the Dead Overkill Bang Bang Box for the Nintendo Wii. There we are folks. Um, now the Bang Bang Box comes with, there's a Bang Bang Box, comes with two hand cannons and a graphic novel. Alright, so there it is. Uh, there's a graphic novel and there's a two hand cannons. Um, and the back of the box just basically shows you um, that. Uh, all right, what's inside of it? It's got, it's got a nice um, look to it. Uh, you know, make sure the dead stay dead. Exactly. Uh, all right. It's a pretty nice condition uh, for its age. Uh, right. Anyway, let's open it up. So let's start with the game first of all. Okay. There we are. Comes in a nice sleeve. Uh, and there's the back of it. Right, as usual, House of the Dead. And if we take that out, we get two things, obviously. We get the graphic novel, and we get the game. Okay, now let's start with the game first. Right, easy. There it is. House of the Dead Overkill. Right, uh, you've got GN Detective Washington. Uh, there's the back of it, and uh, yep, there's the uh, Wii case, as usual. And if we open it up, you get the Nintendo Wii disc. Uh, you also get the booklet and a uh, health and safety precaution booklet. Uh, there it is. The book booklet itself. Let's see what's in here. Uh, getting started. Uh, what have we got there? Oh yeah, nunchuck. Remote. Uh, the contents. Uh, quick start, quick start. Welcome to Bayou City. Save games. Oh, it tells you where to shoot the zombies actually. There it is, down the bottom. Uh, you've also got to uh, begin the overkill, uh, scoring, slow mofo mode, mini games, game options, warranty, product support, and agents notes, the usual. Alright, so there it is. Okay. Moving on to the graphic novel. Uh, hmm, yeah. Unfortunately, has a flaw on the bottom corner, as you can see here. Right? And I can't remember how it came about uh but yeah there it is and i yeah I, the good thing is uh, the whole thing didn't rip right but besides that everything else is in perfect condition okay let's uh let's see what's inside of it there you go okay black and white reminds me of uh what's that game mad world Sin City. That's the other one. That this reminds me of. It's got that Sin City vibe to it. Is it Sin City? Yeah, it's Sin City. Almost there. Right, and there it is. There is the graphic novel. And the game. Now, next we have the two hand cannons. So I'm going to open it up. All right. Uh, here's hand cannon number one, and here is hand cannon number two, along with a guide. I'll, I'll, I'll open this up and, and show you what it looks like. Uh, it's nothing special, really. It just tells you, um, you know, uh, how to use it, fitting in the Wii remote, nunchuck, uh, etc. Okay. All right, let's uh, put that out of the way. Okay, so the hand cannons, let's open them up. So, they're both the same, uh, but I'll, I'll show you both of them anyway. All right. Now, there we are. All right, there is a hand that's There's the first one. And, like I said, I'll open the second one as well, uh, even though they are the same. There we go, two hand cannons. Okay, now this is uh, a little bit sticky because of its age, uh, but it's still, still pretty good, right? Now, they both have the AMS logo embossed on the side. Uh, this line art's raised as well, uh, you know, looks like a, you know, looks exactly like a gun. All right, that doesn't work. Uh, but you can see here, that's where the, um, the trigger is. When you pull the trigger, that's where it hits this. Uh, there it is. 
right there it is okay and that hole there that is where the nunchuck cable comes through and it rolls down here you can you can fit it in here uh, so you're holding the um, I don't have the nunchuck um, handy with me but that's where the um, the, the nunchuck uh, uh, is, is held right now to open this up you press this button here Whee, there we go All right and that's where the um, the Wii remote comes in and then you also you have to open this up so that you can fit it in now <laughs> Um, so luck would have it, I have a Wii remote handy, a black one, so you can see. So all you do is you put it in here, just like that, right? It fits nicely, there you go, as you can see. Then you put this into place, click it, right? That's the sensor there, and then you close this down, and like I said before, the the cable um, for the nunchuck will go, hopefully you can see that, will go down there, and then you can uh, fit it through in, in there. Close that up, and there it is. And now, when you pull this, when you pull the trigger, it also pulls the trigger of the Wii remote, and you can shoot. And also, uh, to note, you will have a better experience if you play with the Wii Remote Plus. Right, but there it is. And the other one is exactly the same, you can see there, right? And so, when you're playing the game, you can go akimbo, you can dual wield. <laughs> right, which is a uh, great fun, great fun indeed. Okay, uh, now next up is my copy of the House of the Dead 2 and 3 Return, for also for the Nintendo Wii. Okay, uh, so there's the case there, you open it up, there's the, uh, the disc, uh, the booklet, oh, come on. There's a booklet, it comes with a um, health and safety precaution booklet, because uh, why not? Right, uh, and the booklet just shows you that, really. So the CD, uh, the disc itself contains both games. It contains uh, House of the Dead 2 and House of the Dead 3, as you can see here. Uh, right, there it is, Wii Remote Calibration, Arcade Mode, Original Mode, Boss Mode, a Training Mode, all these different items. Uh, Oh, there's House of the Dead 3. Right, a couple of pages of notes, and there's and there's the back of it. Okay, and there it is, folks. That is House of the Dead 2 and 3. And like I said, it is always, always a good idea to play both of these games with the Wii Remote Plus. Okay, right. Next up in my House of the Dead. Uh, game collection is House of the Dead Overkill Extended Cut for the PS3, right? So this is essentially a remastered and expanded version of House of the Dead Overkill for the Nintendo Wii, this one here, which I've shown you first. Um, the, the extended cut basically means that it contains two new levels, two new bosses, and two more playable characters. Also included in this copy are two anaglyph 3D glasses, the, the red and blue 3D glasses, as you can see here. Okay, but there it is, there's a the case there. Uh, more blood, more gore, more strippers, great. Right, uh, if we open it up, obviously you get the Blu-ray disc. Okay, and there's the um, uh, the back of it, uh, the back of the, the cover, that's what it looks like, that's one of the bosses. Uh, spoiler, and in here, whoops. You get uh, a flyer for Yakuza Dead Souls, Ooh, March 2012, a long time ago. And there is the, the two anaglyph 3D glasses, uh, which I have yet to open. And you can see there, it's still brand new, right? Um, still unopened. Okay, because I have no need for them. I'll, I'll tell you why. Uh, there's a flyer there, sorry, there's the booklet there. Right. And yeah, never, never play with an analog controller. Always play with the move controller when you're playing, uh, you know, these rail shooters. You'll have a better time. Right, those are different weapons. Uh, those are the characters there. And there's Anarchy Reigns. This is another good game. All right. Now, this game, um, I forgot to mention, this game gives you the option to switch between stereoscopic 3D or anaglyphic 3D. So for those of you that still own a functioning 3D TV like me, you can play this game in stereoscopic 3D. If not, 
then you can still use the anaglyphic 3D glasses. I'll, I'll show you where it says that actually. Uh, where are we? In the settings. There it is. 3D display settings. Hopefully you can see that. Stereoscopic or anaglyphic. Alright. And there it is. And finally, here is my copy of House of the Dead Remake, Limited Edition for the PS4. Y you heard that right, Limited, not Limited. I'll show you right there, Limited Edition. Nice plain words there. Um, but yeah, there's a the case there. Now, I have yet to play this. Uh, I'll find some time later because I, I love the series. I love it. Um, you know, the, the amount of money I spent playing this game, when I, I when, not just this game, you know, the, the whole game, the series, uh, one, two, three, and four, is, you know, oh god, uh, probably in the thousands, maybe. In saying that, I've never played House of the Dead Scarlet Dawn, uh, which is the latest one. I don't think I ever found a machine here in, in Auckland, New Zealand. Um, plus around, I think, 2018, 2019, when Scarlet Dawn came out, Arcades here in New Zealand isn't exactly the best, so I, I yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if I, I could, if anyone could find one. Uh, most were riddled with ticket machines and had very few proper arcade games. Some of them had, you know, the usual Tekken, Tekken Six, Tekken Seven, um, Pac-Man, and whatnot. But yeah, most of it ticket machines. Um, but yeah, but I, but you know, I digress. Like I mentioned before, this is the PS4 version. Uh, this game also came out on PS5, but I wanted to play with the PS Aim controller. Um, you know, the the gun. Uh, so I. Because, as I mentioned before, again, I don't ever want to play a rail shooter using analog sticks, and neither should you. Okay, uh, now this limited edition, uh, as you can see here, comes with this sleeve, uh, and it's got a cutout at the front, shows you the lenticular um, art print, uh, on the back shows you what's inside, and, um, you know, uh, features as well. Okay, so let's, let's see what's inside. So, like I said before, it's got a cutout uh, in the front there, uh, ooh, there's my fingers. There's the lenticular art uh, book, uh, well, sleeve uh, art print. Uh, it shows you the two zombies, um, you know, uh, punch through the door. And if we open it up, boy, there it is. You've got the, the Blu-ray disc, and you get these three items here, which is the sticker set, uh, stickers, as you can see here. And you get these two character stands. Um, now, the one with the chainsaw, that is Samson, Samson, and the other is Sam. Pretty sure it's Sam. Okay, uh, there it is. And like I said, I haven't, you know, I haven't opened these up, so these are still brand new. All right, and there it is. Uh, but yeah, there we have it, folks. Um, that is my collection of House of the Dead games. Um, you know, for both the Wii, uh, the Nintendo Wii, and the um, Play well, PlayStation 3 and PlayStation 4. Um, again, thank you very much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, so hit that like button, uh, subscribe uh, when you have time, and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao!